Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video. Xiaomi recently launched a brand new update to MIUI with MIUI 12. And in this video, we are going to take a look at 12 new features with the MIUI 12. Without further delay, let's get started. First one is going to be to the notification bar. So if you want to look at the notifications, this is how it will look very clean. There are no quick settings toggles now. But how do you access those? Simply swipe down from the right side and you will get this brand new control center. I wonder from where they got this name control center. It's completely changed now. I'm glad that they still have the settings button here. You can edit all these quick settings styles and these are not the only ones. You can swipe down and you can access all the quick settings styles. If you want to change the position, simply click on this edit button and you will be able to do that. Now the new update is that you will get all these four big tiles first one is the amount of mobile data that you have used then bluetooth geo 4g this is for mobile data and this is for wi-fi everything can be turned on or turned off from here if i want to access more wi-fi options then press over here i'll be able to see all the wi-fi that i can connect to and it will connect to the wi-fi directly what do you think about this brand new control center do let me know your thoughts in the comment section box below now we are going to talk about a brand new update and this can be done with any application literally games uh, instagram app facebook app any app i'll just show it to you with gallery application i will open this image and i'll minimize this and instead of minimizing i'll take it to this corner and leave it it will create a mini window over here i'll go to facebook and start browsing okay i'm browsing facebook this is how it is and i'll open it up i'll just go back and open my image and i'll start editing this okay i am editing this oh wait i'm bored now i want to uh, watch uh, my facebook feed scroll through my it okay good enough oh no this window is too small i'll simply drag it like this and it will become bigger this is how it is i can simply go back to facebook application by i'll just do this and i can close it completely i can do this and i can come back to home and this can be done to pubg mobile game as well even though it's not very helpful the touch does not work properly with face uh, pubg mobile game but still i'll show you that it works enlarge the window as much as possible what if we rotate the game like this and enlarge it i can still access the game as you can see go to my statistics the touch doesn't work properly as you can see it's not very responsive at least in the game when you enable full screen gestures you can simply do like this and go to the previous application and keep on going as long as there are applications to go okay that's pretty much it next update is with wallpapers and uh, there's something called as dynamic wallpapers now and there are brand new wallpapers as well i'll go into system wallpapers and as you can see these are nature wallpapers i'll give link of all these wallpapers in the description box below just in case if you want to download any geometry dynamic nebula and this is something which i want to show so basically these two wallpapers which i have downloaded as you can see this is another wallpaper which is available i i can simply click on download wallpaper and it will be downloaded so basically miui 12 will show you a lot of options in wallpapers or always on screen or display basically and you will have a choice whether to download it or not so that it won't consume extra space unnecessarily on your device so i'll simply download it apply on home screen and our brand new wallpaper is applied over here there is also something called as super wallpapers which is not present on the redmi k20 or the redmi note 7 pro probably this super wallpapers option is present only for flagship devices such as redmi k20 pro or mi 10 or mi 10 pro those devices as it's not present on the k20 at least but this is how the animation looks with those super wallpapers it looks fantastic in my opinion i mean you get this effect as if you are moving into earth and into the wallpaper to that exact place looks very good now next update is to the dark mode obviously i do not prefer to use dark mode because sometimes it becomes a little bit irritating because the surrounding conditions are dark like i have turned off all the lights the display is dark but there is so much text that it becomes too bright for me and that's why i do not use dark mode a lot but with miui 12 you'll get this new option which which says adjust contrast automatically which will basically adjust the contrast of the text so that it doesn't become way too bright for your eyes when everything is turned off and this will be dependent on the surrounding conditions there are a lot of visual changes and first one is in the storage as you can see if i go into my device this is how the storage comes i'll just do it once again and it moves like this as you can see 
if i click on storage it will give you another option like this that 8.64 gb green is using used by system yellow is used by apps and data storage space basically the same thing can be said about battery if we go into battery and performance 61 percent battery is remaining if we go into battery usage stats then there will be this animation as you can see as we are talking about visual changes let's talk about another big one uh, if you want to change default sim card for calls then one can be selected or can be switched to two for data you can select one or two it looks really good in my opinion to change options like this if you select the third option then every single time you call someone it will ask you whether to select geo or vodafone or depending on whatever network you have as this is redmi k20 which comes with amoled screen we can have always on display on this device once you enable it if we go into style there are a lot of i mean ton of options now uh, i would say literally unlimited options because there is a theme store button here if I click on that it will take me to theme store and oh my god there the list is going to be endless here as you can see the, literally too many options now privacy is very important and that's why privacy protection will actually give you some sort of protection this time it has become very powerful if we go into all apps it will show all the applications that asked for permission or whichever permission that they used in the background even when the device is locked if facebook uses camera or microphone you will be able to see that over here in the app behavior section as you can see facebook auto started uh, denied six times health auto started health application me roaming pubg mobile access the list of your apps even though this is a game it why would it access my list of apps but anyway you can see that another brand new option is in permission notifications this option is already there on color os 7 6 it was already there now it's present in miui 12 as well so whenever some application is using any permission in the background you will be able to see that in the notification bar like this if we go into manage scroll down uh, go to special permissions then scroll down once again manage virtual id this will create a virtual id and it will give that to the apps if you do not want those apps to use your original id there is a brand new health application and i'm not really sure why but it asks for microphone permission which will record audio to hear your dreams and snoring dreams how dreams listen to dreams how will you listen to dreams snoring i can understand so basically with miui 12's health application now you can use it to track your sleep just by keeping your phone on your pillow if you feel fine doing that i mean you can definitely do that i have not tried that i personally feel that uh, using mi band 4 or dedicated health bands is better option as compared to using your phone to track health or track steps or anything like that but it's good to have that option at least currently weather in mumbai is literally like this blue sky is with little little white clouds and uh, if it was raining then this is how it would have looked basically weather application has received brand new animations uh, which can be seen on the screen right now which definitely look very good and intriguing in my opinion i have seen a lot of people complaining that miui does not come with any app drawer not anymore just go to settings go to more uh, select home screen and select with app drawer click ok S scroll up okay go up go up and oh my god poco launcher is here i mean it's uh, it doesn't say poco launcher but it's exact same replica of poco launcher and uh, you have that option basically so poco launcher as you know is very powerful and the same launcher is present with miui 12 in default xiaomi devices so you can definitely say poco launcher i mean uh, something similar is present on miui devices or xiaomi devices now and all the devices which will receive miui 12 update will have an option to add the app drawer as you can see over here xiaomi also had changed camera ui but on my redmi k20 as well as redmi note 7 pro i was not able to get the brand new ui but my friend has already made a video on this there is a more option and you can click on that to open up all the settings which are not present right now another brand new feature includes fps monitor tools simply go to developer options and then under monitoring you will find something called as power monitor frame rate monitor tools simply click on start and now it will start showing you uh, the resolution the hertz the display is running at and the fps if this was poco x2 then it would have showed 120 hertz and 120 fps but we have redmi k20 which runs at 60 hertz only and this is going to be very useful uh, when we play games fps will be there all the time on the screen you do not need to download any third party application to measure fps anymore 
And I guess that's much it for 12 brand new features present in MIUI 12. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Which one is your favorite? Do let me know about that in the comment section box below. And if you're wondering whether your device will support it or not, then the supported devices list will be present in the description box below. I will keep you guys updated whenever global stable or global beta ROM update schedule is out on my Twitter handle. So follow me on Twitter if you aren't already. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because many more awesome videos like these are going to come real soon on the channel. Just click on my face right now and get subscribed. Press the bell icon so that you will get notified next time I upload a video like this one. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.